find the mean of the following data. We will use Excel in this to find the mean. Now the first step is you have to make a table. Class and frequency are given right on the lower limit here. Lower limit. I'll just write L L means lower limit. Write down here upper limit. Then find the midpoint. Midpoint that is X. Midpoint is X. And then you can make this slightly big. Next is you can make this column big. Next is F multiplied by X. So you have to write F multiplied by X. Multiply the star fx. What is the rule for me? Sigma fx by sigma f. That means sum of fx divided by sum of frequencies. So we need to know sum of the frequencies also. How to find sum of the frequencies? Just highlight the next cell. Go to auto sum and you will get the sum. This is the total sum. Now lower limit of the first class is 5. Second class is 10, third class is 15, and fourth class is 20. Write on the upper limit. What is the upper limit? 10, then 15, 20, 25. Correct? We want midpoint. To get the midpoint, Use the formula. Midpoint is equal to bracket. See the bracket is must. That we have to add first. Lower limit plus upper limit. Close the bracket. Divide with this sign. Divide by 2. Press enter. So you got midpoint of the first class. Correct? You can check it also. Now just drag it down. We'll get midpoints. Now next is fx. How do we get fx? f multiplied by x. When I use formula, put equal. Select f. Multiplication is the star. Use star for multiplication. Multiply by x. Press enter. So f into x for the first one is 37.5. Just drag it down. Sorry, do it again. You have to bring it down like this. Now we need for mean sigma fx, sum of fx. So what will you do again? Select, bring it to the next corner. Go to auto cell. This is sigma fx. So you can see mean is equal to Sum of fx that is 460 equal to put equal in this also or just write on first 460 divided by 30 right now we want to find this this will not give us the answer so I will do it right again equals put this Press enter. Once again. Don't select. 460. You can select from here. 460. Divide by 30. Press enter. I have written this to show you the rule. So 15.33333. That is the mean. Now this is still 5 decimal places. You can reduce the decimal places. If you go here, this increase. If you go there, it decreases. See? If you want your answer to 2 decimal places, you can decrease it. Highlight the answer. Make it slightly big. So 
so this is a mean i hope you have understood remember to find the midpoint and when you click on this you can get the formula is equal to d3 this is d3 plus e3 this is e3 see from here e3 divided by 2 but mostly students they forget to put the bracket this bracket is must that means you divide the sum by 2 thank you